Hey guys, I'm Bayer. Tomorrow is the start of the NBA season for 2021-2022. Massive Golden State fans. So these power rankings, uh, I'll look at the ESPN power rankings or what they think will be the top 30 teams. And then I'll give my own top 30 teams of where people will place. They've done it a bit differently than what I'm gonna be doing, but it's gonna all be sort of the same thing. Of course, as a true fan, I'll be completely biased to my own team because that's what I think. All right, so, <laughs> but I'm super hyped. I can, how can you not be hyped for this season? Like the teams from last season, even the play-ins were like crazy. Um, so yeah, let's go through quickly. We'll go through the ESPN power rankings. If you want to skip forward to my rankings, you're more than welcome to. But I, you just shouldn't because you should just watch the whole, watch the whole video. <laughs> okay, so this is ESPN's power rankings. So we've got Utah at number one. I mean, Utah were insane last year. Then you've got Philly, which I don't really agree with. I think there's, I love Ben Simmons, but I think at the moment, I don't know how it's going to play out. Brooklyn at three. Again, with Kyrie, it could be interesting. Milwaukee at four, the defending champs. Just kind of kind of crazy they're not number one. You've got to give love to the defending champs. Like, really. Giannis played incredible in the finals. Five, Miami. Six, Golden State. Really, six? Come on, guys. You know better than that. Seven, Phoenix. Also reached the NBA finals last year. I think seven's even pretty generous. Something came out today, DeAndre Aiden's upset with Phoenix. Seven, oh, eight, the Lakers, the old vets coming through. Uh, it's hard to tell with the Lakers. I don't know whether they're going to be like sky high going crazy or they're just going to be that fringe team like they were last year after injuries. Nice Portland, again, interesting. Dallas. 10 and Denver 11. For me, these two teams, it's crazy that they are being put at 10 and 11. Oh, but it's so hard. There's so many good teams. It makes sense. 12 the clips. I know it's so hard because I think a lot of people love Kawhi, except for Sixers fans. Um, but Kawhi and Paul George, like you can't go past them, even though they're the most loved duo, like they're gonna put up numbers. Toronto 13. No, nah, I do not agree with that at all. Maybe numbers wise, but I just don't think they have enough firepower. I could be wrong. I might be wrong. Even the Pels at 14. Oh my God. I've made my list before even looking at these. So that's why my reactions to this. 15 Boston. I think Tatum's going to have a big year this year. As well as Charlotte. I think Lamelo is going to go... Might not go to another level, but I think the people around him might pick up as well. Even Book Knight will be, I think he'll be crazy. Um, Sabonis so and the Pacers, I think, that's, I think that's probably about right. The same as Sacramento, I think they're a fringe team. The same as Memphis. Jar and Fox, like you can't go past them, they're elite. Uh, but t Atlanta at 20 is criminal. Look, I know they're bringing in the new rules for Trey, but honestly, I don't know. I think they're, but I think they're, I think you could swap Atlanta for Toronto, in all honesty. Um, okay, what else do we have? Where are we up to? Memphis, Atlanta, Chicago. Now, you'll see my power rankings. I think Chicago is going to go crazy this year, honestly. And then we've got the we've got the last teams, San Antonio. They're rebuilding. They got our Aussie Jock Landale in. Um, Javante Murray's pretty sure he's coming back. He's already back already. So I think they're gonna have it. They lost Mills, their veteran presence, to the Nets. But yeah, New York Knicks. I think even though they had a stellar year last year, I think that's spot on. I don't think Randall. The, even though he had such a great year last year. I think it's going to be so difficult for them to replicate that. Minnesota, poor towns, even with Patrick Beverly, I think he'll still be around here. The same as Detroit. I'm surprised Detroit's up this high. I honestly think you could move Detroit down a little bit lower. 
Bradley Beal at 26. Uh, I think he's higher. But then the rest of these teams I all agree with. Maybe OKC I'd push a little bit higher up. Um, I think with Shea and Josh Giddy, my man, if you're watching this, you better be watching. I mean, of course Josh Giddy watches the videos, so what do you expect? But I think he, like, they're obviously going to be working up more and more, um, but honestly, I don't think they're last. I don't think they're last in the league. I think you can have Orlando, Detroit or something, but not OKC. So, all right, so that was ESPN's rankings. And now we're going to look at my own rankings. So I'm just going to have like a blank screen and I'm just going to pop up my, what I think. So I'm going to do Western Conference and then I'm going to put Eastern Conference. I didn't do the power rankings as like this. Um, I think it makes more sense as, because they're not going up against, like we're not looking at how the Sixers went last year against how the Nuggets went. You know what I mean? We're looking at, we're looking at the conferences because that's what's important to see who gets in that top 10, gets into the, or the top six and the play in. So for me, we're going to do, let's do Eastern conference first because, and then we'll do Western conference. Cause that's my preferred conference to watch. So one, I've got the Bucks defending champs. You got to show them love. I mean, Giannis jumper is looking scary, scary hours out here. Um, so yeah, Bucks are one. Nets, I've got the Nets at two. Even without Kyrie, I don't think Kyrie will play. I don't reckon he'll play the entire season. I just think that he is, and he is more than welcome to do whatever he wants. Um, but I just don't think with the rules that they've got in place, I don't think he'll be allowed to play. So that's, so I've got Bucks and Nets. Well, even with Nets, he's still got KD, he got Harden. Blake Griffin, Paul Millsap, Patty Mills. You got a whole squad of elite players. Whether or not they're at their, you know, prime, different story, but they are all elite. Um, especially Patty after the Olymp like coming off that Olympics. I think he's in prime form. Um so Bucks Nets got heat at three. That's my I think the heat are gonna <laughs> they're gonna fire up this year i think hero is gonna go crazy i think jimmy is gonna get back to his like prime form he was injured a bit last year larry's gonna find a really good place there and bam's just gonna explode i think you can't go wrong with that sixes yeah this is the one that i'm not sure about i love the sixes as i love watching ben simmons even though a lot of people don't but that's the thing that the chemistry now after this whole debacle is what I'm a bit, I'm not sure about what's going to happen. So, but I think that they're a good enough team. Like they've got a really good defense that they can still hold teams out and they'll probably come up with that fourth position. Five, I've got Boston. I think Tatum and Brown are going to go off this year. They got Schroeder coming off the bench most likely. So, I reckon they'll. I reckon they'll be perfectly fine to put up big numbers this season. Now six is my interesting one. Six is my one that I'm not sure about, but I'm just gonna go for it. I got the Bulls. They're preseason games. AC just cooking, turning up the. Not even turn up the heat. Turning on the. Turning on the chills. They got me frostbite out here. And then you got DeRozan, you got Levine, like, and you got Lamelo. No, Lonzo. What am I saying, Lamelo? Lonzo. I just think that they they've got a good core and Vucevic as well. They got a really good core to, to make some noise. Now seven, which is vastly different to um to what they had. I've got the Hawks. I think Trey. And John Collins, they're a young squad. I reckon they're, I reckon they're perfectly fine. I reckon they're going to make the planes at least. Um, I don't think they'll have an issue. Eight, I've got the paces. I think Sabonis is just, a, he's just, he's got those fundamentals. He's just different. It's a different like league. They've got Le, uh, Karras, Levert. I think he's coming back. So I, I honestly think that they're eight. Nine, I've got the Hornets. 
I thought I just think like I said before, I think Lamelo, I think Gordon, I think Miles Bridges, I think all those players will have just a really good year and they'll win games that they should win. Um, even at nine, which is in the bottom pack of of the teams, I think they'll still beat their teams in the east and a few teams in the west. So I think they'll get there. And then I've got the Wizards coming in the last play-in. I just think Bradley Beal and, and Kuzma will just they'll just hold on to to really just <laughs> lock in and get that last position in, in the tenth. And then wrapping up, so I've got the Knicks. I just don't think the Knicks are going to be good this year. And then I've got the Raps. They had the Raptors at 13. Like, out of 30 teams. No. I just don't think... I know Siakam's a really good player, but I just don't think they can get there. Prove me wrong, Raps. Prove me wrong. You'll see why I don't really like you in a second, but I just don't think that they'll be good this year. Then I've got Orlando. I've got the Cavs. And I've got the Pistons. No matter how good... Colin Sexton and, and Grant are going to be um, in, in the Pistons. I just don't think they're going to get there. Hopefully, Fultz has a good year this year. I, I'm really rooting for Fultz. All right, so that's my 15 in the East. Now we're going to do 15 in the West. Number one, no surprise, after that, probably that you probably just realized after that Raptors comment, Golden State number one, baby. Golden State number one. And then you're probably thinking, major bias. Yes, I am biased. Because we have the greatest team. <laughs> Golden State is the greatest team in history. Nah, I, I just think Golden State are going to, from what they've shown in the preseason, from what Paul's shown, from what our, our only weakest is going to be rebounding, and hopefully we bring in someone that can be that big man presence, but I just think Golden State's gonna explode. Maybe, I think they'll hold on until December, and then when Clay comes back, I reckon they're just gonna skyrocket. I'm, I'm reckoning, reckoning at least 60, 65 wins. I'm not even joking. I think they've got that potential. I think Curry's gonna have a stellar year. He's gonna become the top three point shooter in NBA history. Well, he already is, but officially, if you know what I mean. So, Golden State number one. And I'm not budging at all. I've got money on it. Money where my mouth is. So, Golden State number one. Number two, I've got the Nuggets. Too much. To the dismise. Uh, what's the word? To the dismise? Going against what the power rankings have said, because they had them pretty low. Like, they had them at 11. I just think the Nuggets are, they're quality. Jokic is quality. Third, I've got the Mavs, same thing. Doncic is quality. He's young. Porzingis is gonna, they're gonna have the chemistry back. I think that they, they're ready to put in some really good work this year. Four, I've got Utah, which they had first. I think Utah's an amazing team, but I just think that those teams are gonna go crazy. And I think they're gonna be putting up good numbers. I think it's gonna be tight at the top. Um, but yeah, I've got them at four. Five got the Lakers. Lakers were super hard to place, but I think that they're enough to be a playoff team, but I'm not sure where. I'm thinking five. Um, and six, I got Phoenix. The rain or the reigning, they came with NBA finals last year. Again, amazing team. But I just don't think that can, I don't reckon they'll show the same heights reach the same heights that they reached last year i think six is probably a good spot and they've got the clips and i've got portland to cover the seven and the eight um again amazing teams but and it's really hard because the west have got some crazy teams and i think that they're probably i think those eight it's not talking about the lippers and the camera died I guess you could say it was the second round. Just couldn't, just couldn't get it done. Um, anyway, anyway. So yeah, I've got the Clippers at seven and Portland at eight. I think those eight teams, Golden State, Nuggets, Mavs, Utah, Lakers, Phoenix, Clippers, Portland, they're, 
solid. I think they're the top eight teams easily. I don't think they won't budge. But the thing is, the two play-ins, which I've got Memphis and Sacramento, the power rankings had the same thing, them back-to-back. -back. I think Fox and Jar are just amazing players, but I, it'll be interesting to see if they can carry their teams um, to the playoff promised land, really. Like, Memphis somehow took the game away from Golden State and then they got to the playoffs and they didn't really... It, it was so hard for them to show anything. Um, but I think they've had that experience now. They might be able to reach maybe a play in. The same with Sacramento, same thing. Um, and then I've got my unfortunate fringe... or not fringe teams, just bottom teams. I've got the Spurs at 11. Again, they've lost that. They've lost the presence with Patty Mills. They've still got some amazing players, but I'm just not sure if they can really pull it together to be able to make a playoff run this year. Um, what's it called? Pops retiring. An amazing coach. Probably one of the greatest coaches in any sport all time. Um, so, but hopefully, hopefully they can have a run maybe this year or next year for him. For him. And they've got 12 of the Pelicans, which they, the rankings had the Pelicans at 14, which is like seven. I just don't think, I, I love Zion. I think he's an absolute beast of an athlete, but they've lost their shooting with JJ Redick. Um, I just don't know if Zion and Ingram can pull it together to, to create something. I just, I just don't think they can. Um, Hopefully I'm wrong. Hopefully they can reach a plane or reach a, a position in the top eight. I, I just, yeah. There's a, it's just a bit of a unsure about that. Now I've got Minnesota. And I've got the Thunder. I've got the Rockets. I don't know. I'd love Cat to make the playoffs. I just think Cat's an amazing player, an amazing human being. I watched Cat's breakdown the other day of his, of his game. I think Cat, D'Lo, and they've brought in Patrick Beverly. Like, I just think that they've got such a good, like, on paper, they've got such a good, like, team. Like, they've got a solid team, but they can never just sort of, they can't bring it together. Um, I've got the Thunder at 14. I love Josh Giddy. Um, as an Aussie, like, you always root for your, your nationals, but I just don't know if they've got a, a squad enough to... Because look at it this way, for the Thunder and Rockets, yeah, sure, they might steal a game, but if in a, in a seven-game series, are they going to defeat like a Golden State, a Nuggets, a Bucks, a Nets, even all the way down to a Portland or a Pacers or a Hornets? Like that's what you're looking at. Once your team can begin to start, yeah, maybe I can take two or three games in the Western Conference. I can take a game from the Eastern Conference and you're starting to move up, but that's my ranking. As you can see on the screen, probably, hopefully now. Um, yeah, I'm so, I'm pumped for the NBA season. Um, I'm going to be doing a lot of, maybe not a lot of news, but I'll be breaking down some stuff. I'll be doing some rebuilds. How do you not love rebuilds in 2K? We're just going to be playing some my career probably. Maybe some in real life stuff. Um, just, just having fun with this channel. So guys, if you liked it, if you'd like to be breaking down my thoughts on teams, I'd love to know some things that you don't agree with or some things you do agree with. Um, because honestly, that's what it is. After watching Kenny, um, he's, he preaches positive discussion and I think that there's a, there's a big room, a big, there's a, there's a big part of the NBA community, especially NBA Twitter, where you go, you, you go hard and you die on the, on a cliff for your team. And I think that, I think there's a good safe, like a good safe space, especially here that you can say whatever you want to say. And I'm just going to be like, 
hey, may, I might agree with you and I might disagree with you, and that's fine. It's perfectly fine to agree and disagree with someone. So I look forward to your comments. I look forward to this NBA season, and uh, hopefully you can uh, come along and enjoy. Anyway, I'm Bayer. We're balling. <laughs> Fuck, every time. Anyway, peace out, guys.